today I'm going to show you how to replace the transmission mount on just about any club car golf cart from the early 80s all the way to current model. It's the same mount. They've been using this for <laughs> years. Let's show you how to do it. Now a lot of times, uh, a lot of technicians rather, will not even know that this is there because 90% of the time this foam rubber snubber is completely missing. And uh, when you go to work on a golf cart, you may not even notice it being gone because it just rots away. Uh, they make better ones than the foam ones. They make some that are made out of uh, urethane that just last forever. This one is the uh, is an updated version of the foam one. It's not the urethane one, but they still last a lot longer than they used to. Anyway, we can tell that that snubber is missing. It goes right in here, but we have to take the mount apart before we can put the new mount in. And we can tell we've got a couple bolts right here. It's just a bolt and it's got a nut on the back side. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, engine jacked up underneath the belly pan with a floor jack. You want to jack it up just enough to get your wrenches in there. And that's plenty right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our ratchet. And let's go ahead and take these bolts out of here. Now there will be a spacer depending on the model. A lot of times they just use washers. So don't lose the spacer in between the mount and the transmission or the engine pan here. At this point, we should be able to slide the mount out. And as you can see, the spacers I was talking about. Slide the new snubber onto the bracket just like that. And we'll reinstall. We'll just go ahead and install the nuts. Just like that. And we'll get those torqued down. Time. Guys, I hope this helped you out, and I tell you what, Stins makes a ton of aftermarket parts for these golf carts. Here's the part number for the frame snubber. It's uh, 285-176, and uh, the only thing you need is uh, just a ratchet and a half inch box end or open end wrench and you can do this repair yourself. Hey, if this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, I would appreciate it very much if you would click that uh, heart down below. It'll help my channel out like you would not believe. Anyway, guys, y'all have a good rest of your Wednesday. More Medic One.